my gosh, my skin. Look Poppy. at my skin. I'm getting there. <laughs> so we've literally just been here and we thought we'd document the moment because this is a moment of history. Just being receiving the sun, as you can see, mm -hmm. and also receiving from the most high, the most high yard to be precise. Um, you know, we've been receiving this morning about this manifesto that needs to be written. Mm -hmm. And we tend to think very small. You know, the human brain is um, limited. so <laughs> limited and restricted. And the Most High has been giving us this message to uh, think bigger and to, to stand in the authority, the supreme authority, may I add, um, that he has given us or given me precisely. Yes. The anointing and the ordainship um, that he has placed on my life, placed on our life. Um, and he's now telling us to rise, that Judah must rise and we must stand in our authority. So we've just been here in Ghana, in Accra, um, you know, one of the unlikely places that I guess, you know, a king would be writing a manifesto um, for the world, uh, for, the, for the universe. Um, this is universal triumph and the triumph has begun. Judgment is now and we will continue to stand in the Most High's light and to reign over our kingdom. So declarations and decrees have been made in this manifesto. Um, we have stood in our authority and have demanded exactly what Judah has been promised, exactly what the Most Hayah has promised us. And we will continue to fight for that, uh, not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, like against those that come up against the Father. We are for the Father and the covenant of the Father and what he has um, promised us in you know he promised our uh, the king our king david and his descendants we are the descendants and it's time to rise why <laughs> yeah i'm just overjoyed overjoyed it's been a long journey to fruits. get to this point hmm? fruits yeah the fruits of the spirit can be felt definitely it's been a long journey to get to this point sorry this is ghana you can hear the construction it's everywhere <laughs> no matter where we go there's construction um but yeah it has been a very long journey to this point and i'm just giving all the glory to the father because there's been so many times that it just felt impossible like how are we ever gonna do this yeah um but he is so faithful he is so true to his word and he always keeps his promises he never lies he has been so incredibly faithful he has surpassed far surpassed our expectations oh yeah um he is on more than we could have ever thought dreamt or imagined um and yeah just being like just it is an honor to be a witness to the manifestation of his glory like it's happening right now right now and to have such an instrumental role in that like i i know who i am in this journey i know what my purpose has been up until this point um and i'm not i'm I guess I kind of know what it is going forward. You're very clear on yours. I, I have clarity to a certain degree, um, but whatever it is that the Father has for me personally, um, I'm just honored to just be a witness. Honestly, just to play whatever role that I've played up until this point, it has been such a privilege. Um, the honor. Yeah, it's so, I just, yeah. Like, this was just a moment for me that just came full circle. Um, because I've known for a long time who you are. And, yeah. Before me. <laughs> it's one of those things that, you imagine me. you know who someone is before they know who they are. And, and then, but you're, you're going through that, the whole human existence and you're, you get in your feelings and your well, that's, your that's trauma. the thing about people the trauma the, the slavery the history yeah. the curse of our people has um 
you know, has distracted us and clouded our judgment, is distracted us from knowing who we are, from knowing who we are. And you know, say they say if you don't know who you are, then you don't know where you're going or even your worth. So knowing who you are um, allows you to know your worth, allows you to know your value in the Father allows you to realize that you are the chosen people of the Most High, mm. that the deception that has been enabled by the world is a lie, it's a deception, it's exactly what it is, it's a deception. Um, so to be able to stand in the authority and, and declare that, you know, to hand them the truth, like just to hand the truth over, to speak the truth is more powerful than anything and you know, as, uh, as, as uh, you know, as people that have been through trauma, it's very hard for us to handle the truth. It's very hard, for, it was hard for me to handle the truth of who I am. Simply, like, the father said to me, you are this person and I can't handle the truth. Do you know what I mean? You, know you what couldn't. Oh, I couldn't, but I can now. Like, I'm standing in, I'm standing in that authority. So, you know, I mean, those that know, know. Those that don't have a clue what I'm talking about, that's because the cap ain't for you. But those who, you know, this is a nice, warm, snug cap for you, wear it and, you know, like wear it with pride, um, with honor, should I say, with, honor. with a badge of honor from the Most High and know that, you know, you have been anointed and that he has his hand on you and that, you know, you are, you are loved, do you know what I mean? Uh, unconditionally loved by the Father, by the Creator of all, by the King, by the conquering line of Judah. So just being able to to know is so powerful they say knowledge is power but just to know is power just to know is power just to you know to to just stand in, in, in your authority is so powerful and yeah I just I'm just grateful for 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 knowing for, for knowing and you know who, who gave me that well the all-knowing the creator the king of kings the alpha and the omega like he is the one who gave that to me so you know i give the glory to the most high Yah all the time um, and i pray that everybody else does too and that we um come back into the covenant of the most high and seek him you know if you don't know him seek him because he's there waiting to be seeked um but you must seek him with, um, all, of with all of your heart, yes. with your free will. And it's only when you seek him with all of your heart will you find him. Seek and you shall find, ask and you shall receive. Um, these are, you know, things that we hold the most high accountable to. It sounds like, what, you hold them? Yeah, we hold him accountable to his word. Yeah, Father, you said. You said. You said. You said <laughs> that when I ask, I shall receive. And obviously you can't just be asking willy nilly. But you know, he knows your heart. So you have to ask from that heart posture, from that heart space. You have to ask from that place um, to receive. And you have to seek also from that heart posture in order to find, because you can seek, seek, seek. You know when they say you pick, pick, pick until you pick up. Well, you don't want to just be seeking willy nilly without seeking from your heart with an unclean, um, a tarnished heart, because you will not find what you're looking for. Or you may find something that is not your portion. So, you know, seek with all of your heart and with a clean heart posture. Continue to ask the Most High to cleanse you if you struggle in that area, because he will purify you, he will cleanse you, he will take you through the fire, he will take you through that rites of passage, he will lead you in the right direction, just like he told us, go to Ghana. Like, we didn't know what for, but so far it's been for our purification, it's been for our rites of passage, it's been for our healing, for, you know, for our own good. Like, I can honestly say that if I was back in the UK, back in London, I was dying. It was clear to see that I was dying, correct? I was dying, like spiritually and physically. Um, but just being out here on the motherland, retracing back the steps of our ancestors and, you know, our, our forefathers, like retracing it back um, is so powerful. This is not the final destination, that's a fact. So, you know, I don't want to get too much into it, but I just, just a humbling moment to just give praise and honor to the Father and to just really, you know, thank those that have also um, stuck with us throughout this time and are not holding us accountable to worldly, um, you know, things or you said you wanted to live off grid, 
Now you're not. You said you wanted to do this. You know, we are just who we are and we continue to be in obedience with the Most High or to stay in obedience with the Father. So, you know, thank you for those that, you know, share their positivity and actually see the light. They see the light, they see the anointing, they see the glow. Um, and, you know, real recognize is real. So it's inevitable that we would recognize you and you would recognize us. So. And I just wanted to say on that point, also thank yourselves. Those of you who um, have had faith consistently, um, even supernatural faith, because I know it has been such a challenge. And that's an understatement, I know, guys. But, um, you know, celebrate your wins. Celebrate yourself. The small wins, yeah, the big wins. Celebrate, because this has not been an easy journey and I know that a lot of you have undergone your purification process wherever you are in the world right now willingly like you have sought for your heart to be searched um, on a daily basis you die to yourself you sacrifice your flesh over submit. and over again you submit to the will of our father you humble yourself yeah you know and, and then not only do you do that but you pray for others you know you pray for your enemies pray for us you encourage others i just want to say to you like oh it's about to get good it's about to get so good you are going to thank your past self for <laughs> yeah in it for your self-discipline for your obedience and your consistency for your endurance in the Ooh, for your endurance for your patience for the forgiveness in your heart you know, for your goodness, for your kindness. Kindness, for your joy. Oh my gosh. For your peace that you had to ooh, try and maintain, protect your peace. Listen, we have been here on this journey with you and yeah. And some of you those journeys is just about to begin. So I encourage you to begin that journey. If you've received the call, if you, you know, if you're watching this video yeah. and you know, it's resonating with you. I'm still telling people to leave Babylon and to step foot on the motherland, whether that be Ghana, Tanzania, Kenya, South Africa, wherever. Just set foot on the motherland and see where the Father leads you to because you will be led. You will be led. Um, you will, you know, be guided um, by, by the, the Spirit of the Most High, which He left for us to do exactly that, to lead us and to guide us, um, you know, into our purpose and into position. Um, and position, I don't say that lightly, to lead you and to guide you into position so that, because we are the anchors, there are certain chosen ones that are the anchors that are put in certain places, um, that are put in Tanzania to anchor there. Certain spirits are put in Togo to anchor that region. Uh, they're put in Ghana to anchor Ghana. They're put in South Africa to anchor that. And that anchor, we are the anchors, like an anchor of a boat. What we're doing, we're holding the kingdom we are holding the kingdom and there's going to be a time when there's no it's no longer are we holding but we are bringing the kingdom forth we are pulling on that anchor pulling on that chain and bringing the kingdom down down to earth we are bringing the kingdom down so you know you may be you may be called to stay in babylon and anchor babylon for you know i i don't i'm not against that if you are called to stay there and to anchor that region that line um you know that border that gate that stargate then that's where you're at you anchor that stargate you an anchor that portal um but for those that have been called i'm just um encouraging you to be obedient to to move to exodus to to leave to to listen to what the father is is saying to you to be still and to get clarification and to move in confidence move in authority and move in confidence and know that the Father will never forsake you. He's never forsaken us. And he never will. And he never will. He never will. Nothing like, can separate us from the love of our Father. Nothing at all. Nothing. There's a scripture that I want to put up right now. And, uh, you know, in a nutshell, it tells you that when you are obedient, then you will receive all of your desires. You will receive all of your wants and your needs. Like, that is, that is our Father. Like, that's our Father. Just like we are fathers and we reward our children. Uh, for good behavior, for obedience, for, you know, for, you know, honoring. for honoring us, for honoring themselves mm. is the same way the father wants to reward his children and bring us home uh, and, and most importantly, bring us back into the covenant 
of, of, of the Most High Yah. And, you know, with that being said, all praises to the Father, the Creator, the King of Kings, the conquering line of Judah. He is good. All the time. All the time. Our Father is so good. He is amazing. He so is awesome. Good, he is great. So good. So good. Oh How powerful God. is the word good. So good? When He created the world, He said, It is good. That is the highest form of greatness. Good. <laughs> Our Father is good, and we just give thanks and praise. The sun's gone behind a cloud. Honor Him. Honor him and worship him with your actions. I promise you, I promise you, it is so much simpler than we think. He just wants us to honor him and worship him with our actions. Yeah. Okay. That's it, guys. Just a quick video. <laughs> See you soon. Love you. Peace. Bye. Wake up, God, I'm you. You better be now.